The UNM Cancer Center has been chosen to lead the 10th National Center for Systems Biology in the U.S. Joining us now is the leader of that, Dr. Janet Oliver from the UNM Cancer Center. And welcome and congratulations on receiving this grant. Thank you so much. We're very excited about it. And quite an honor. It's $14.5 million that the UNM Cancer Center will be receiving. And what will that grant money go towards? Well, we hope it's going to make a paradigm shift in the way we do biomedical research. Um, what it, what is, it really is for is to focus on our good biological questions and clinically rele relevant questions, but to um, bring to bear new technologies and new computational power to really understand the complexities of, of, of human disease. And can you just tell us a little bit more about what is systems biology and, you know, and how did UNM Cancer Center receive this grant? Well, systems biology is it, it's really a, an, an emerging discipline in, in which one combines good biology with technology and with computation. Um, you can do that in a lot of areas. Uh, we're doing it actually in an area called signal transduction. We care about how it is that cells recognize and, and respond to signals from the outside world. And we've always looked at those questions, you know, one signal at a time. But given that cells in the body are being bombarded with hundreds of things, we really need to expand so we can look at a lot of pathways at the same time. And it's become beyond the ability of the biologist to Put together, they can gather data, but it's very hard to analyze it because as it becomes more and more complex. So systems biology is an attempt to deal with biological complexity is probably a simple way to put it. Okay, and um, this is also going to help out the community because you'll be helping out students. You'll also be providing some jobs with this grant. There are quite a lot of jobs, and I think what's really nice for students is that we already have students coming from from College of Arts and Sciences, from engineering, as well as our biomedical sciences students. And what we hope is that we're going to equip them to be really employable, get really great jobs in the, in the next generation of, of scientific enterprise. In terms of other jobs, I think particularly some of the technology will lead to new biotechnology firms, and that will be good for New Mexico. And this is really incredible because this is the first of its kind in the Southwest, the first to be led by a female. And, you know, and, and just even getting honored for this, some of the other schools that have been chosen for it, Harvard University, Massachusetts uh, Institute of Technology, MIT rather, Duke University, Princeton University. So uh, the technology at UNM Cancer Center is right up there with all of these other schools. We're in very good company, and I think we have... We have the real great advantage that our medical school is, is near the main campus. We have our mathematicians, our physicists, our engineers close by. We've got the resources of two national labs. And it was really those combinations of, of, of geography and opportunity that made it possible for UNM to get this grant. And this grant it lasts five years? Last five years, and potentially we can renew it for a second five years, as long as we do well. And just again, you know, how does this help out our community? Well, I think what we're going to understand at the end of it is, is more of the, the, the real events that are going on in, in complex human diseases. So we started to study two very complex diseases, you know, cancer, which is incredibly complex, and, and asthma and allergies, which are also very complex. And we think that if we can understand the signaling pathways that lead to excessive release of unpleasant things in the case of asthma and allergy or, or to excessive growth in the, case, in the case of cancer that we can then pinpoint targets for developing drugs. Incredible stuff. Thank you so much, Dr. Oliver, for joining us. Thank you very much, Jessica. Well, more storms are brewing right now.